Hey everybody and welcome back to We the Revolution. Uh, we meet again this this fellow here who wanted to come in. Do not worry, I recognize that young man. He was the one who turned Archbishop Goebel's life upside down. So I'm assuming this is the the guy that claims to be his his illegitimate son. My name is Butin, I'm his son. There you go. I suppose I know why you came here. You should know, however, that Gobel is no longer an archbishop and is now immune. Help me, please, in any way you can. Well, what do you want? Are you deaf, boy? Do you hear what I said? Gobel is untouchable since he made an alliance with Herbert. If you had come to me sooner... I went to Jacques-Louis David, to Citizen Danton. Danton will not help you. Of that I am certain. Listen to me. It is over. Gobel will be a successful politician, so take your mother far from Paris and forget about everything. My mother died a few years ago, despaired and despairing and humiliated that she pined for her love. I'm really sorry for your loss, but there is not a thing I can do. The world loves the new Archbishop Apostate. So no one will help me? No, I am sorry. You'll have to live with that. Womp womp. Okay, so here, everyone but the aristocrats wants this guy dead. What's the news? In the name of science. The dead have stopped vanishing. You did not rebuke the members of the convention, uh, but young people who are easy to scare when they know they have been caught, I doubt they will do it again. Uh, at least not during your term. All right, so the common folk like us. Good, good, I appreciate that. And the aristocrats don't like us. Well, whatever. Um, what does that do to our... Well, the aristocrats are kind of even. The revolutionaries love me. Common folk, low opinion of me. So I should do whatever the whatever the common folk want right now, which appears to be murder this fellow. Uh, let's see. What's the what's the situation? After the torrential rain that haunted Paris two weeks ago, a drowned boy was found in one of the sewers leading to the Seine. Um, he was no more than fourteen years old. His neat clothes led us to believe that he was not an urchin, urchin, so we started to look for his family. The search did not yield the expected results. Uh, a few days later, an anonymous denunciation was left at one of the National Guard posts. Its author claimed that the mysterious corpse was connected to a mansion in the northern suburb of Paris. A patrol sent to check on the revolution revelations was forced to retreat when someone started shooting at them from the doorstep. The soldier returned with reinforcements to discover a terrifying scene. Four suspicious-looking men were loading young, dazed boys into a cart like bags of potatoes. Ten boys total were found in the building, all from the country and none older than 15. The basement was filled with shelves lined with jars of laudanum. There was also a paddock with sheep, goats, cows, horses, and dogs. Two of the four men were captured alive. They testified that the disturbing place was kind of a brothel belonging to a certain Raoul Bautier. The guards lay in ambush and caught the host together with two clients. Um, okay, so very disturbing acts going on here. Is that the only thing? Yeah, that's the only... Sir, can you tell me your name? Please introduce yourself. Raoul Bautier, at your service. No, thank you. <laughs> I Do I understand correctly that you work as a procurer? Procurer? I wouldn't use such strong words. We were merely providing entertainment to the rich and served several particularly demanding clients. You'd be amazed by how many of them you know personally. Are you pleading guilty? I was merely providing a product that was in high demand. You mean young boys? I would rather say that my main trade was pleasant time. Well, off with your head, sir. I mean, right now. Did the defendant confess to his crimes? I mean, I think he did. Was his act counter revolutionary? I don't know. Or the defendant who was using a service, um, rich and particularly demanding clients, who were the children abused, and that tier people dazed the victims with, um, I mean, sounds like laudanum, but that's not an option here. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's see if we can't answer some questions, unlock some questions here, please. One possible mistake. No, two traps. Ooh, this is not going to be good. Round boy. Neat clothes. Mansion. Sh shooting from the doorstep. 
Drowned Boy is the victim. Drowned Boy is also an accusation. Neat clothes. Could be traps. Mansions. Padlock with animal. Or paddock with animals. Clients. Clients is an accusation? Paddock with animals. I mean... I can imagine what those animals were being used for, but I don't know if that's an accusation. Neat clothes. Mansion. Shooting from the doorstep. That sounds like an accusation to me. Two traps. Mansion is the method? Nope. Paddock is a method. Neat clothes is a method. Paddock is a method? There we go. Alright. So, your people up in fire in the National Guard. Did you give the order? Well, that's not one of the things we want to know. We wanted to know... How did you daze the victims and who were the children? The boy found in the sewer was well-dressed. Who was he? I'm not sure. I gave them those clothes as they came to us dressed in rags. Besides, I won't remember them all. You should ask for clients as they like to chit-chat afterwards. Who used your services? Marquis, generals, officials, pepper merchants, bishops, judges. Did you hear him? Bishops were going in there. I want to hear names. You won't hear them from me, even if you decide to make a fatal error and dare to sentence me to death. What should I be afraid of? Monsieur le Judge, my clients would never forgive you. I'm as important for the city as a baker. I satisfy a very particular, yet human, hunger of the elites. And you want to hinder it. Tomorrow, you yourself may be recognized as an enemy of the revolution. Uh, that sounds like a threat, sir. Well, apparently we didn't uh, answer this question. Alright, so... Your people opened fire on the National Guard. Did you give the order? There's been a tragic misunderstanding, that's all. You seem to be very confident. Do you know the fate that may await you? The guillotine and nothing else. You are a reasonable person. The mob wants blood, of course, but you know that entrepreneurs can be forgiven for the minor sins they commit. I don't know if this is minor sin, sir. What do you call a minor sin? My people are on edge, nervous, and confused your people with, well, burglars, I suppose. It happens. So you believe that nothing bad really happened? Well, if you were to close every small business for trivial reasons, France would go bankrupt. Do not change the subject. Were you planning to smuggle the boys somewhere? They're still young and were scared by the shots, so we had to move them somewhere quieter. Alright, give me one moment. I have to pause. I'll be right back. It should be no time to you. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue this. Um... You were kidnapping, drugging, and murdering children. The corpses were then thrown in the sewer. Do you admit it, citizen? They were lost country boys. Someone in Paris would have abused them anyway. Okay, so it's okay if I abuse them because someone was going to abuse them? Really? They'd have ended up as tanners, as tanners or factory workers, slaving for a piece of bread. We gave them a much better alternative. Did they think the same? Did you even try to find out what they wanted? I'm not sure. My people were supposed to do that. We would love to talk to them. Unfortunately, you killed them when attacking my mansion. How convenient for you. Did you drug the kids with laudanum? A glass of wine with a little opium helped those sweet boys to unwind before work. They begged for it. How could I say no? Okay, wine with opium. I would say... I wouldn't say no to smashing his face with a stick. Well. And once they were of no use to you, they were thrown in a sewer? Believe me, I wanted to avoid it. Okay, let's, let's fill that in. They were young villagers looking for luck, luck and parage. Paris, war orphans, are the sons of enemies of the people. Young villagers, um, opium. Did the defendant confess to his crimes? I think he did. Was his act counter-revolutionary? I don't know about that one. Uh, 
how do your clients know where to look for you? Let's just ask all the questions because I don't think there's a going to be a problem with that. Paris is an amazing place. People who want to spend money on pleasure will always find someone to bring it to them. I assume the word of mouth was used to spread it among them? You are very clever. In other words, if we catch, catch one, we will catch them all. I'm not sure about that, but... You have much to gain by giving me those names. I'm afraid that if you learned them, you would be terrified by the way you've been talking to me. Justice does not care for your connections. Yes, tell him. Justice may not care, but you should. And did your clients like to feast after their perverted pleasures? What kind of question this is? Oh, they did not come for food at all. The wealthy citizens of Paris have very surprising preferences when it comes to love. Oh, you're saying, hey, did you feed them those cows? And the answer is like, no, you don't want to know what they're doing with those cows. Perverts. You can find a regular whore at every corner. We were visited by people who wanted something more. Are you trying to say that your citizens had intercourse with cattle? That's exactly what I said. There's no need for such crash, crass descriptions. You call for freedom, and at the same time forbid people a little earthly pleasure. Those boys who were imprisoned in your, what do you call it, business, were they also free? Were they copulating or not? They were indeed. They were willing and they got paid well, so why not? You know what, sir? I don't think anyone was willing. Definitely no one was uh, was going to get murdered after they were willing to be murdered after they were finished. So... There we go. And I'm definitely death penalty you right now. Ooh, the risk rat's not like that, but you know what? Who cares what the risk rats say right now? I'm just curious, if we did acquittal, what would happen? I can't can't see that now. Whoops. Oh well. Death penalty it is, sir. And then we have some uh some minor cases to work on here. Four criminals with arist aristocratic aristocratic roots uh, assaulted soldiers who were on duty in front of the guardhouse at night. They then entered the guardhouse, set it on fire, and ran away. There is no doubt that the crime was political. I mean, well, I don't care if the aristocrats hate me for this. I mean, they really hate me for that. Um, Martha Cuvillier, 56 years old, did not look before crossing the road and walked straight in front of a moving cart. The vehicle was transporting wine barrels. In order to avoid tragedy, the driver had to perform a rapid maneuver, causing several barrels to fall from the cart and break. The innkeeper claimed that the wine was of the highest quality and very in very expensive. That's not a crime. Excuse me? The aristocrats didn't like that? Did I read it wrong? Gatin Barthé ordered Abillard de la Fosse to travel around Paris and spread false rumors about a chemist who had developed a formula that enables the production of sugar from pine bark. Thus, Barthé was able to sell a section of pine forest to the south of Paris at an exorbitant price. Um, you wanted to spread false rumors and fraud people? I guess that's death penalty. There you go. And now we have to deal with the aristocrats hating us. Citizen Batia, you have committed hideous crimes. The city will breathe a sigh of relief when your head finally rolls down the street. Death to the monster. No more hurting children. Why not drown him in the sin? That would only be fair. Hey, got everything correct, and the, uh, the aristocrats really hate me now. So now we gotta work on the aristocrats, but I don't think that's gonna be easy. All right, what's next? We can try to do a speech. Okay. Let's let's speak to the common folk. See what they have to say. The crime, the defendant, revolution. Okay, let's go aggression. Let's go aggression. Let's go Manipulation. That's incredibly wrong. Wow. Um, can I take back doing a speech? 
Let's uh, let's do humility, humility, humility. This is not going to go well. We cannot be a merciful. We can be a merciful nation, but we shall not forget that a terrible crime was committed. Oh, they did not like that. Um, we are not only mourning the victims, but the convict's soul as well. But do not mistake our compassion for weakness. Oh, they did not like that. Um, you have gained power in France. Now spill the blood of those who oppose the Republic. Well, that was not what I wanted. Reputation minus one. You will be the next to lose your head. You will be defeated by lust. Off with your head, sir. Let's go home. Gobel is currently immune. He has their support, and the common folk appreciate what he did. He claims to be fully devoted to the rule of reason and to rejecting everything that is wrong in the clergy. That's clever. Only Robespierre can stop him now, and he will... He will if that rule of reason begins to cross the line. Or if they publish their list of 73. I'm sure Robespierre's associates are also listed there. Their bare stupidity and ambition are what makes him contend with Robespierre. We have long dreamt of this power, as we all. Or as have we all. Robespierre will lose without the f friends he would destroy by revealing the list. Um, and without his support from the clergy, Gobel is a weak ally. So I'm not really understanding what's going on. I'm just reading it without uh, without really understanding this dialogue. I'll just admit it. Air Bear will lose without the friends he would destroy by revealing the list. And without his support from the clergy, I don't, I don't whatever. Just tell me what I'm doing. Yes, but Air Bear is too proud to see that. I know him well. He heard the, the calling and will not let go. We must convince him that fighting Robespierre alone means death. And what if he does not let go? Then we will all die the moment the crusade against the 73 starts. Herbert and his rule of reason will die next at the hand of Robespierre. The incorruptible will take control of Barris. We must introduce Herbert to someone else with the potential to have a power base. Someone who will be a much stronger tool against Robespierre than Goebbels. I think I have the perfect candidate. Do you? Do you really? So my family all loves that I beheaded that guy. I'd love to get, uh, you know, work on my son and my wife a little bit more. You take a stroll, take your family for an evening stroll around Paris, or rather what's left of your family. That's ominous. Um... I mean, I know it's it's ominous, but Bernard, yeah, come on, Bernard, you can play the viola, and our father can just deal with it. All right, so we're locked down. Inspection is incoming. We can't move. Oh, we can move. Okay. These guys are Revolutionary Patrol. We're blocked. Diplomat is taking over section, so we definitely need to stop him. Can you come here and... Yeah, lower the fervor, please. Let's do the intrigue. Maximilien Robespierre. All those with power and influence who remain agree that Robespierre must disappear. Robespierre also knows that sooner or later there will only be one place available at the top. We need five successes to win and seven to win with a bonus. So we are just going to perform an action next day. Okay, a trilateral meeting. Nothing to be done here then. Achievement unlocked. A bargain at twice the price. What does that mean?
Today we have several minor cases to deal with, okay? We have a good relationship with father, which gives our common folk endorsement up. Um, but... Look at the revolutionary... Look at the aristocrats, I mean. We, uh, need to do whatever they want us to do. Basically. Okay, let's hope we can make some right decisions here. Renard Fouquier tried to smuggle four barrels of dried tobacco into Paris without paying duty on them. He used special barrels with fake bottoms. At first glance, they appeared to be completely filled with a cabbage. Um, no, well, I mean, that's definitely guilty, so... A group of women waiting in line for water from a fountain started arguing. Things quickly became physical. The women who participated in the fight were these names. The last was allegedly knocked to the ground and badly kicked. Um, well, that sounds, sounds like you did it. I mean, you, you assaulted a woman. Porthos Poulain, a skilled painter, would forge high, famous paintings and sell them to naive customers at high prices. When one of the apprentices demanded a raise and threatened to give the game away, Poulain hired a certain person, whose name I won't try to pronounce, to kill him. Well, you... He tried to kill a man. Godefroy Ouvrard, a young craftsman, made a few minor repairs at the house of Mr. and Mrs. Abergenoui, and then had intercourse with the landlady. Mr. Abergenoui was not at home. Upon leaving the house, Ouvrard stole a gold fountain or fountain pen and a golden locket. We request punishment for both lovers. Um. All right, there you go. Everyone's getting their head chopped off here. Late in the evening, uh, Joseph Comper was assaulted in his small butcher's house. He so skillfully defended himself with a cleaver that the assailant bled to death a few blocks away. Comper did not report his crime. The guard found him after interrogating witnesses. Um... Not guilty? You were self-defense. I guess you you really should have uh, should have reported it, but it's not it's it's not up to the level of of being a crime. I don't think Paulette Pernet allegedly stole the laundry of her neighbor Adrienne Escoffier. The clothes were drying in the yard. The apartment of the accused was searched, and the investigators found bed sheets that were immediately recognized um, by Escoffier. Yet. They would not confess. Well, I want the aristocrats to like me, so I kind of want to... I mean... Could have been a mistake. Could could have just grabbed the wrong laundry. There we go. It's kind of even things out a little bit more. more. I'm satisfied with that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Let's, let's continue this day. Or let's finish this day, and then we'll end the episode once this day is over, and the next day begins. Because that's typically what happens when one day is over. Who are you talking to? You would be happy to hand power over to people who cannot even read properly. What are you talking about, Denton? What? So you're saying that the poor are only good to die at the front? Oh, perhaps it is the destiny of the Paris Commune to be shot at in order to protect others. How dare you? Gentlemen, we met here to make an alliance. We must, since we are all burdened by weaknesses that Robespierre does not have. And we have to give a speech. And we have low influence. Robespierre is a dangerous maniac. Herbert will lose if he has no allies. Gobo will gain more by discussing terms with Robespierre. Let us together go together and use the ambition Tin ambitious Tinville as our scapegoat. Tinville wants a career. 
I don't know, withdrawn. If you're withdrawn, I'm going to... Use humility. Oh, so here's a dangerous maniac as the topic. I don't know, let's go for it. Your bear will lose if he has no allies. Oh, you're oversensitive. Well, then maybe I'll also use humility. We don't know this. But Bell will gain more by discussing terms with Robespierre. Let's use, I don't know, let's manipulation. Let us go together and use the ambitious Tinville as our scapegoat. Also manipulation. Tinville wants a career. Let's, let's say aggression. So that's wrong. Okay, so... Well, I don't know. Let's go... Uh, I'll, I'll make it up on the spot, maybe. Or maybe I can think about it right now. Let's use manipulation. And then those two will be highlighted as correct. And then we will do... Humility. And humility? Maybe? Or maybe humility and manipulation? Well, let's start with, let's start with manipulation. It would seem that Robespierre's madness has completely taken over his mind. Somebody must stop him. France has survived ages of dictatorship. It will survive Robespierre as well. Why do we even talk to the boor? And then humility. Even together we can hardly match Robespierre's power. Do not put your head into the lion's mouth, as he will devour you without remorse. Do you know something that I do not? Alexis is right. On our own, each of us are easy prey. And then, um, manipulation again. Gabel will betray you at the first opportunity, because it is much better for him to join forces with Robespierre. They both hate the rule of reason, but Gabel has yet to reveal this to you. All right, let us go together and use the ambitious Tinville as our scapegoat. Um, humility. Let us say I have influence on someone who will make a better scapegoat than Gobel. Prosecutor Tonville. I will resign from my post in the Committee of Public Safety and propose that Tonville should replace me. Robespierre will turn his attention to him, and we will gain some freedom to act. Tonville is a prosecutor and enjoys a good reputation among the people. It is possible that Robespierre could see him as a rival for the position of the highest statesman of France. And then Tinville wants a career. Let's, um, let's, I don't know, manipulate it. All I have to do is show him that power is within his reach. Tonville wants it as much as we do. It might work. Strict cooperation and trust will be the key to conquering Robespierre. All right. Let us get rid of Robespierre once and for all. It's funny how they pronounce his name differently. We have Robespierre and we have Robespierre. They all seem to say it's Tonville, uh, which I'm, I guess it could be. I don't speak French, so... Reputation plus two, common folk plus eight, revolutionaries plus seven. And we're just at home by ourselves. Okay, so we can read together. That'll hurt our son. We don't want that. Opening night at the theater, the Cafe Procope. Political debate. Oh, well, that won't touch our. You know what? Let's do some reading together. Even though our son is going to dislike it, let's do some reading together. There's nothing like sitting around with your family and a good book next to a warm fire. Wow, he loved that. You disliked it a little, and you liked it quite a lot. Okay. Knocked you out. Achievement unlocked. Man bite. Man bites man. Construction finished. 
symbol of the revolution's victory has been completed. This the completed monument is already beginning to attract curious Parisians. All right, let's see. There's the there's it is. Now I was told that uh, you can click on these things. Well, we can't do any of these uh, options because we don't have enough uh, influence to do them. I was told that we could find out what these are before we agreed to do it, but we can't do it because we don't have the option. Okay, so the Revolutionary Patrol has taken our bruiser. How far can you go? You guys are blocked. You guys are still fighting. Probably lower the fervor over here as well. It's pretty high. Can we get our man back, please? Commence the persuasion, exit, or you cannot perform. You cannot afford five influence or whatever. Let's commence the persuasion then. Arresting this man was simply a most understanding. The man you arrested is working for me. You should look for real criminals. They are withdrawn. Let's use... I don't know. Like, I feel like I should be writing this down. I, if I had written down the results to this every time, I think we would be in a much better place. I could just cheat. Um, arresting this man was simply a misunderstanding. Let's use humility. The man you arrested is working for me. If they are withdrawn, let's try to manipulate them out of being withdrawn. I don't know. Imprisoning him is a crime against the re revolution. Let's be aggressive. And you should look for the real criminals. Let's manipulate again. Okay, so these are good. This one is not right. Arresting this man is simply a misunderstanding. Let's, I don't know. Let's go... Let's go carefree on that one. Who knows? And then let's follow the highlights for the next. For carelessness. Thank goodness it was you, not some other lads itching to advance through the ranks of the guards. We are going to solve this misunderstanding post haste. And they like that. The man you arrested is working for me. Manipulation. You have caught a covert agent of the Revolutionary Tribunal. Imprisoning him is a crime against the revol Revolution. Your actions reek of treason. Think twice before you decide to stand against me. And uh, manipulation. We have real traitors out there. Root them out and do not be discouraged by failure such as this. Although in your next endeavors, do try to avoid persecution to avoid persecuting my agents. There you go. They're completely satisfied. And I think we almost lynched our brother. It's good that you came along. We'd already prepared a pike for his head. We're glad to have you on our side. So go in good health. Thank you very much for releasing him. Can I move him now? I can move him. Um, I'd love to move him in here to help this out. And, uh, let's end the turn, I guess. We'll see what the intrigue is. Trilateral meeting. Now Goebel's death. Um, Goebel died? Prosecutor at the... Goebel's son has once more paid him a visit. This time their argument became more heated and included a firearm. We do not know what matter of accusations or manner of accusations were made during the meeting. The testimonies of the neighbors, however... Lead us to believe that the conversation eventually turned into a fight and ended with a bullet in Gobel's chest. He died where he fell, and Boutin has been arrested. Your murdered child has been avenged. You could exculpate the murderer. After all, you were responsible for luring him out of hiding. Okay. But has our murdered child been avenged? Because we know that uh, the other guy said he was involved in it as well. Prosecutor at the Committee of Public Safety. Prosecutor Tanville 
will make a perfect human shield. He will take Denton's place with a clean record, and we will use his gratitude in the future. Moreover, we will get Robespierre's blood up, since he will probably interpret this as a move towards us gaining control of the Committee of Public Safety. Okay, so we're putting our man in place, perform an action, send a diplomat, minus eight. No, let's just convince. I hate this part. I absolutely hate this part. Denton is ready to resign his position at any moment. Everything is happening suspiciously fast. Because you were not expecting it, an independent observer would say that you have worked hard to get this promotion. It could, obvious, could also be an obvious trap. No, it's definitely not a trap, sir. Let's go carelessness. Let's go humility. You have to help us get the situation under control. Let's do manipulation. You have our support. That's wrong. Okay. There's no one more suitable than you. Maybe we should use manipulation there. Alright, let's go humility. And then follow the prompts, except for this one. Humility, carelessness, manipulation. That's all we gotta remember. Humility, careless, carelessness, manipulation. The situation in the city is out of control. There was no one else to help me. We love that. You flattered me. Then, uh, carelessness. If Robespierre managed to climb to the top, why would you not do the same? You are equally as good. What did we say? Manipulation? There's no more, no one more suitable than you. The committee needs to be supervised. It must be transparent and lawful. Who else could be assigned to this difficult task? He loves it. Hear the voice of an exhausted France, so desperate for freedom. Denton, the air bearer, and I, we understand and want to give this freedom to France. Please say yes and make things right. Fine. I will think this through and give you my answer tomorrow in the courtroom. Reputation plus two, revolutionaries plus six. All right. And let's end the day. Day nine. All right, this is Boltin again. So, counter-revolutionary rumors. Let's check that before we end. The tribunal is in the is the revolutionary revolution's enemy. A fishwife yelled, nothing relaxes Paris's citizens like a demolishing a symbol. This time they took their frustrations out on the Palais de Justice, your workplace. It is a good thing that the guard intervened as they would have raised the building to the ground and started yet another revolution. Revolutionaries minus one, reputation minus two, influence minus one. That's not so bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.